Hey there, everyone. Thanks for checking out uh, my Gumroad product here. I just wanted to go over how to use it, uh, what's in it, and uh, how you can adapt it to your avatars or your Blender projects. Um, so initially, I did make this in mind for working with a character. So this is a, a client commission that I've made. Um, and we have a lot of shape keys we need to bake for most VR chat avatars. You could work with bones, but I definitely prefer shape keys for the most part. Um, and right now I have shaved, saved, shaved. Uh, so if I go to here, you can see that as we scroll through the character, all these different shape keys have been saved. But one of the biggest problems with working a shape is when you need to change one, or let's say I needed to edit the hair or something like that, working with the shape keys, applying modifiers and stuff gets so painful that I really don't like uh, working with them because uh, they're awful. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've developed is a little script over here that given an animation on the character will save a shape key on the specified frame. So that's the number here on the left with a specified name. So uh, as you can see on my shape keys, it's just a one to one list. Uh, we have the basis, which is uh, standard, but then it goes into the the name down here. And it just matches this list exactly. Um, I have a lot more here because of face tracking, full face tracking. Um, so that's really where it comes in handy because holy moly, it's a lot to do. <laughs> and uh, I'd rather be able to recreate it. So basically the first step, if you're going to use this, is to create an animation. So I have this little animation right down here uh, with all my keyframes. I've set up a rig that does have facial animation bones, so I can go ahead and move my rig around. It's very laggy right now. Um, but after I get everything into a position, so let's say if I go to 260, or let's do happy 270, you can see that we have this expression. Now I'm gonna go back to frame zero, and um, anyway, it matches exactly. Uh, it is a little bit of use bones for animation, but that's a tangent. Uh, so if I need to add a new shape key, and this is how you can adapt it for yourself, uh, you can just go in and using this format, which is the two parentheses and a comma at the end, and then you specify whatever frame you want. So we'll say 69, because I'm a child, <laughs> and the name will be Lol. <laughs> and if I included that in here, it would look at my animation, at frame 69, which is probably nothing, just this little face here. Um, and it would look at this animation. And basically all the script does is it, the mesh selected goes to the modifier and hits save as shape key. So that's under the hood what the script is doing. It's just selecting your armature modifier and save as shape key on this frame, uh, on this frame. And that's the key part. Um, but of course, if I don't want that, I go ahead and delete it. Bada boom. I, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, as well, it will also take any displacement modifier that you have. So it's, uh, for example, this equal pup. Um, so like that kind of facial expression is what I was looking to save. It's a little bit harder to do with a uh, um, with uh, the way my rig is set up. So I wanted to use a displacement modifier. There's, of course, other sliders and things like that you can add. But it's nice to be able to save that into a modifier because then if I need to ever edit and I have to get rid of my shape keys, I still have it saved here. So after it goes through the animations, making a key, uh, shape key for each of the listed keyframes, it gets to the next step, which is create shape key from displacement modifier. And it's pretty simple. All it does is the exact same thing goes to it, says save shape key, um, and it will save uh, save that as shape key. Uh, now for this particular task, the saving from displacement modifier, it is just gonna go through each of your modifiers here and, and save it. So if you don't want it saved, you would have to remove it. Uh, now, uh, the last feature that this script has is this reset shape keys. Um, so uh, just to uh, elaborate on the displacement a little bit more, the way you control adding the displacement modifiers is through the modifiers. It's not in a list like 
like the script has it for these two features. Uh, you use the modifier, you add it here, and uh, that's what it's going to look for to bake it. But in order to use the final feature, the third and final feature, which is removing influence. So for example, um, on my look up here, if I go into wireframe, you notice that the eyes don't move. But when I actually use that, go to that frame here on my animation, look frame 40, you'll notice that the eyes actually do move in the animation, which is a little annoying because we, we don't want the eyeballs to actually move with the eyelids in VR check at least, depends on your application. Um, but I, I used to have to go and manually <laughs> remove that influence from the eyes, go to the look up, and then on frame 50, there's the look down. You have to go in on that influence. It's a huge pain. So what I've developed now is instead of using that, you would use another little list here. And what you say is the first frame, or the first um, uh, name here is the shape key you're looking for that you wanna change. So on vrc.v look up, I want to reset my selection. And this next selection, selection eyes, is actually a vertex group. So what I've done, is simply just save this into a vertex group right here, selection high. So if I go into edit mode and select that, you can see I have my eyes selected. Pretty straightforward. It's a nice way to save your selection. Um, and I only really need it for these two, but I'm sure there will be other cases where it's just nice to have it built in automatically resetting sections of your shape keys uh, without have, you having to do it manually. Um, now that's basically the whole thing. Um, so when it's running the script, these are the three commands right here. If you do not want it to do one of these, so for example, if you do not want it to create, you don't want to add the modifiers, um, the displacement modifiers, and, don't, and you don't want to make shape keys from your animation, all you need to do is put a hash in front of your, <laughs> in front of the command, and it will not do that command anymore. Um, so for example, if I didn't want it to save the displacement modifiers, I could put it there. And once it's gray, that means that it's not active anymore, and it will not call on the scripts above um, to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It saves me a ton of time. Uh, it does take a while to uh, if, if you depending on how many shape keys you have, it can take quite a while, um, but it, it is pretty straightforward, um, and it certainly saves a lot of time. The key thing, which is a little bit different from some other uh, people's workflows, is that I am saving all my expressions in an animation and then converting those to shape keys. If your workflow is that you just edit your mesh directly to make shape keys, this may not be as useful, or I think may show you that having a facial rig, there's a lot of benefits to that. Uh, uh, to use the script, to actually bring your, the script into your um, scene, all you really need to do is take a new little window, move it over to your text editor, bam, right here, and then with your text file uh, selected, now this is a, not the same script, but you can just take it and drag it into the window, and now you have the script available to you. Um, and if you want to run the script, first you have to make sure you have the correct object selected. So in this case, my uh, character. Um, my character selected. You could also do the clothing. It doesn't really matter. Um, just whichever object you want to save the shape keys to. Once it's selected, make sure you're at frame zero. So shift. Uh, I usually hit shift, arrow over, arrow left. Okay, shift over, and that'll put my uh, keep my timer back at zero, and then you can just run the script. Two other things to note: the script is looking for the armature named rig, so you do need to name your armature rig in order for it to uh, run properly. So usually it looks like this armature. It will not run with that. You need it to say rig. Um, 
because if you have multiple armatures, maybe rare a rare situation, but you do want to know which armature you're baking from. <laughs> Good. It, it, that is important. So that's just a way to clarify which rig it is. And once you have it selected, you hit the play arrow up here, or um, you hit Alt P while your cursor is hovering over this. So again, that is Alt P. I'm just going to do it out here, bam, like that, Alt plus P, but with your cursor over the dough. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get rid of the script scene, you just hit X, unlink it. Um, it's kind of annoying because you can't quite find the text files through the uh, full explorer. Uh, you can have, I prefer to drag them in because for some reason they just don't show up. Silly. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, hope that hopefully that helps.